but you'll want to continue to fold this until you get to about eight inches, like I said, on this size streamer. Now we're going to uh, attach it to the rocket, and for that we're going to use a piece of 100 pound Kevlar, and on the end of it I want to put uh, several good sized knots. Okay, there's that. Now we're going to tape this along the front edge of the streamer. So I got to find that front edge right here. And it's going to get taped along the edge like that. Now you can use uh, some strapping tape like this. Uh, this works really good, uh, but it's clear and you can't see it on the video. So I'm going to use some yellow tape so that you can just see it a little bit better here on the video. But this is just a plastic tape, pretty much similar to that. You know, what I'm going to do is I want a piece that's just a little bit longer than my streamer. And I just want to lay that on the table with the adhesive side up. And I'm going to take the streamer and I'm going to put it half into the tape and then press it down. And if any sticks over the edge, any of the tape sticks over the edge, we'll just go ahead and cut that off. We'll need that. And then there's a little piece here on this end. Okay, now just take the, the, the uh, Kevlar cord and lay it not on the, right up against the edge of the streamer. And press it down into the adhesive and then fold the packing tape over the top. Now if you're using wide packing tape you can go ahead and cut it. Now I'm using half inch wide tape here and half inch is, is plenty wide. So now I fold it over. Now here's what you need to do is with your fingernail kind of find that edge of the streamer of the Kevlar and then burnish the um, the shock cord down so you get maximum surface area of the tape against the streamer. And then flip it over and do that same thing on this side. And, and the reason for the knot here is so if anything would ever pull it through, pull the Kevlar cord, it would stop at that knot. Now, for very small rockets, this would probably be fine, but for big rockets or things with heavy payloads on them, you want to um, reinforce this a little bit. So I'm going to take some more tape, and uh, this is about four inches, three to four inches, and I'm going to put this over the edge. Now I'm going to do this at an angle like this. And the reason I'm doing it at an angle is because this tape has thickness and I don't want to I don't want to make the uh, the material any thicker than I have to. I just want it for the extra strength. And I'm going to do that in two places. Okay, so where the tape went down, I just have to refold them because otherwise it's not going to want to stay together. Okay, now our folding is done. Now this end is actually way too long. You're only going to need probably about six inches, six to ten inches of Kevlar cord there that hangs off the edge. And now this is going to be tied to the nose cone on your rocket. I'll just do that real quick here so you can see how it's done. Okay, so I have my streamer attached to the rocket like that. 
Now to prep it for flight, of course you're going to put your wadding into the rocket and then just with your fingers just gather up all the pleats in the, in the uh, accordion fold and then the, the part that remains we're going to wrap. We're just going to roll it. And this kind of holds all the accordion folds together. You're going to, of course, remember, you're going you're gonna to accordion fold it all the way to about six to eight inches to the end. And at that point, we can stuff it in a rocket. And that rocket's ready to go. Now these streamers can be wound really tight. Now this, this rocket here is a BT-20 size. This is the same size streamer and it will fit into this small 18 millimeter tube. But what you have to do is once you gather, gather everything up, you're going to roll and you want to roll it really tight and at the same time I'm pushing backwards up against the pleat to really cinch down on the streamer because I want it really tight. And you can get this really tight. And then I can cinch it down even further. So now it should slide in there fairly easily like that. So that's the technique on folding your streamers and attaching them to the rocket. Now there's more techniques other techniques other than this one and it is in that book model rocket design and construction so I mentioned that earlier so please go out and get it so I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components our website is www.apogeerockets.com